on this issue of tight madness that is going around the whole world where people are so much talking about tithes and insulting elders and insulting people over tithes. And I think it is necessary I, I bring my voice to this issue. One, Pastor Ia Deboye, who happens to be my pastor and my father in the Lord, had made a statement that those who do not pay their tithes will not make heaven. Now, whoever is criticizing that statement, you're criticizing it because you never had the whole story. You can't just pick up a word and begin to criticize a person without hearing the whole story. You were not in that meeting and you never listened to all the teaching. Now, Pastor Deboy was talking specifically to his spiritual children and he was pouring out his heart to them about how he understood the scripture. And as a man, he has a right to air his view on how he understands the scripture. So, Pastor Deleja, you have no right uh, uh, to, you know, say that he is working with a, you know, talking about gospel of mammon. This is not gospel of mammon. Pastor Ia Deboe was just saying what the scripture says. So I, seen, I do not see where he has gone wrong. But apart from that, I do believe that we should respect our elders and respect people and their opinion. I do not see the reason why you should go on Facebook to do what you are doing. So I think as his son in the Lord, it is my responsibility to answer, to answer and, and speak to you and speak to all those you have been leading astray in the body of Christ. I want to say that it is written in the scripture that in the last days people will, will, will gather around, around them, people, you know, people with itching ears, getting people around them to preach what they want to hear. But the truth is that the scripture is, not, is, is unchangeable. I mean, the scripture remains constant. Can I just bring something to clear of this issue? First, before I come to that, this issue of tithe, tithe really is a personal thing, though it's the word, absolutely the word of God. And each person may want to interpret it the way they want to interpret it, but the word of God does not change. I was with a pastor today who specifically told me that the wife had a vision where she went to heaven but was not allowed to go in because she was not a tighter in the church. And not only that, God specifically spoke to my own wife and encouraged her to go on paying tight. And God had encouraged me to go on paying tight. I'm a pastor, but I'm a heavy tighter. I tight. Why do I tight? I know that God has told me to tight. Number two, I know when I tight, I'm making provision to run the church and help the work of God. But I want to bring you to this scripture, and that is in Malachi 3, verse 8 and 9. It reads, Will a man rob God? Yet you have robbed me. But you say, Wherein have we robbed thee? The, in tithes and offering. Then it says, verse 9, it says, Ye are cursed with a curse, for ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. This is not the word of Pastor Ia Deboye. This is the word of God. And he was only telling us, his children, what the word of God says. Now, if you rob God, it means you're a thief. And if you're a thief, it means you cannot enter the kingdom of God. Pastor Delaja, tell me where thieves will have access to enter the kingdom of God. Please, I want to beg you. People listening, Christians, don't be deceived by these people that go around telling you that the moment you're born again, you're born again. You can be born again, and yet, if you do not live according to the word of God, you will not be able to make heaven. The Bible makes it clear on the last day, many shall say, Lord, 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 and he's going to say to them, I know you not. Many will perform miracles, many will gather among around them millions of people, thousands of people, and that is not a guarantee of making heaven. The Bible makes it clear here. It says, will a man rob God? Yet you have robbed me. God himself is saying that people can rob him. And the way you can rob God is in tithe and offering. Now, everybody's talking about tithe. What of the offerings?
We can rob God for sure. So are you trying to say that a thief will get into heaven? That the people that are defrauding others will go into heaven? So what I want to explain to you here today is that Pastor E.A. Adeboye was only saying what the Bible says. And he was talking to his children. So uh, 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 Pastor Deleja, if, if, listen, if, and I do think so, that uh, uh, you do not believe that Pastor E.A. Adeboye is a senior spiritual father to many and millions, well, he does, he's not your father if you don't accept him. So mind your business and stay out of the teaching that he was teaching. One, he was not teaching you. Number two, he was not teaching your flock. Number three, he was teaching his own children and his own flock. So if you don't agree with it, then you don't agree with it. But you do, not go, you do not need to go to social media and begin to insult him. A kingdom that is divided against itself cannot stand. If you are a child of God, you shouldn't be coming to social media and be insulting other men of God. You know their phone number. You can call them and have a one-to-one -one discussion with them on this issue. Well, I want to tell you that I still... I love you. I have nothing against you. And come what may, I'm praying for you. And I will continue to love you. And I pray that you too, you make heaven. I have nothing against you. You've done a great work in Ukraine. And, 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 and God has blessed you. But don't destroy the good work you have done by insulting other men of God. May God bless you. I still want to tell you, Pastor Deleja, I love you. I have nothing against you. And... You might have made mistakes, but I don't want to hold it against you. I know a lot about you, but I'm not going to come on social media and talk about you or, or, or destroy you. No, I'm not going to do that. May God bless you. Amen.